The Prime Minister took on a marketing job today, selling the Southern Alps and delights of Queenstown to Aussie tourists. After two years without its visitor lifeblood, operators are warning opening the international borders will be just half the battle. Political reporter Amelia Wade was with the Prime Minister in Queenstown. The audacity of Queenstown to have views like this, just laying around without tourists ogling them. But even though New Zealand's riding an Omicron peak, the tourists will be back soon. The Prime Minister hyping it up on Aussie telly. You can expect to get the warmest welcome you can imagine. But down the hill the night before, Queenstown's pain was on display. Pubs with Guinness on tap shouldn't be closed on St Paddy's. It's usually one of the busiest for fat badgers with its biggest pizzas in town. It's Thursday, Thursday. We were expecting a bit more upbeat. Normally we would have uh, triple the, um, the patrons and we would have triple the staff. Um, tonight we've got one staff member on front of house um, and she's stressed to the max. The town needs a bit more than the luck of the Irish to come back from COVID. It wants the red light lifted. Who wants to come here to sit down and... Look, they want to be on the dance floors. National wants to take the brakes off now. The country needs to get back to normal. We need to be able to think about a future beyond Omicron and beyond COVID. As we come off the peak of our Omicron wave, uh, that mandates we will be looking to narrow. Vaccine passes don't have the same use, and so we will be looking uh, to remove those. But Queenstown needs more than tourists to take off. Bar manager Eilish Fenton says they need staff, stat. Kitchen hands, bartenders, managers, floor workers, cleaners, everybody, taxi drivers. The town depends on working holidayers. The scheme started a phased reopening on Monday and News Up can reveal so far there's been 2,475 applications. Almost half of those are from Malaysia. We're talking thousands and thousands of people just to have the doors open. I have been talking with Tourism New Zealand and I'd like to bring uh, Immigration New Zealand in to work together around promoting New Zealand as a working uh, holiday option. Reopening New Zealand. It's not all downhill from here. Well, Amelia joins us now from a gorgeous-looking Queenstown. So, Amelia, what changes can we expect to be lifted next week? Yeah, the red light halo over the country has really hammered this place, which thrives on a bustling nightlife. Then the Nats are calling for scanning and uh, uh, COVID vaccine certificate requirements to be scrapped immediately, except for at large indoor venues. Then they want the entire COVID-19 protection thrown, uh, entire COVID protection framework thrown in the bin soon after. But the Prime Minister was as, as explicit as we've seen her today, saying that mandates will be narrowed, restrictions will be eased, and that broad brush COVID-19 vaccine requirements will be removed once we're over the peak. But the Prime Minister won't abandon the traffic light framework altogether, saying there will be other peaks, there will be other variants that we need those protections for. Amelia Wade, live from Queenstown. Thank you.